I remember doing that. The instructor stood at the side of the ramp with a radio, looking on nervously as his student is flying solo in the pattern. I don't think there's a more nervous feeling than that. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Stand there with a the radio, but you, you can't control anything. That's funny. Hi boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Here's a tip for you before we go and fly. Don't try vlogging at an airport. Too many planes, too many engines. You gotta kind of time what you're gonna say between when the engines are gonna start and when the engines are gonna stop and when the plane's gonna start pulling into the ramp but it seems to be getting louder. All right, today's goal is uh, passenger currency. I let my currency in a single engine lapse, not through choice, just because I was down in training uh, for a couple of months. I thought what better way to welcome myself back to the sky than to go solo in the Cherokee and do some passenger currency, which means I've got to do three takeoffs and landings. Uh, I'm going to bring you along. Hi, right, boys and girls. We're in the aeroplane. We're moving under our own power. This is flight time. You'll see a disclaimer at the bottom of the screen that comes up and says, do not use this video as flight instruction, which is true. Don't use it as flight instruction because I edit my videos and that uh, can take away some context from what I'm saying. But, having said that, I've been uh, contacted by multiple people recently through emails and messages on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's there. I've been asking for tips and tricks on how to land. Which is fine, because it's the most difficult part of flight training. In fact, if anybody tells you otherwise, then they are lying. So what I'll do while I'm flying the traffic pattern today, I'll kind of verbalise what's going on in my head. So, anybody watching this can get some tips and tricks and maybe help them with the, with the landings. Which is the goal. Well, the goal today is to become passenger current, but two birds, one stone. And exactly great, right, Cherokee 32042, Romeo 7 with India for uh, touch and goes. November 32042, runway 25, taxi via Bravo Alpha. Bravo Alpha to 25042. Alright, coming up to the uh, the hold short line here. What I'm looking for on these landings is uh, center line, no drift, nice soft touchdown, and uh, good airspeed control. I'm also going to I'm going to try and test myself with where I want to uh, land the aircraft. So on this first landing, I'm going to put it on the 1,000 foot markers. That's where I want to touch down, and so I'm going to aim for a point just before it. Cherokee 32042, Executive Tower, follow Skyhawk in the upwind, runway 25, right close traffic, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, uh, 25, we'll uh, follow the Skyhawk into uh, right traffic, so uh, 042. There's the centre line, I've got my head in, I've got my head in. All right, let's roll, heels to the floor. Full power. Power set. Airspeed alive. 55, 60, 65, rotate. Welcome to the sky. We're back. Cherokee 042, for the sequence, continue up when I'll call your crosswind. Roger, continue up when you'll call it. Wow, feels uh, feels a little bit weird because I've not done this for a while. I've been training on the ATR, just passed my check ride on that. Now coming back to flying light aircraft, that came off the ground so easily. All right, 1,100 feet, let it accelerate. Power is coming back. I don't want a lot of power in here. I want to I want to kind of keep it slow because we're, we're extending now. We don't want to go too far out, but we can slow it down waiting for him to uh, to make the call. Welcome back to the Orlando. 042, crosswind approved. Enter right down with 25 and I'll call your base. Roger, crosswind approved. Uh, under the diamond, you'll call the base. 042. Cherokee 042, you're following a Skyhawk 12 o'clock, 3 miles on a long downwind. Roger, we're looking 042. And uh, Skyhawk's in sight for 042. For 042, number 3 behind the Skyhawk, runway 25, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 042. All right, so got the Skyhawk in sight. You're not going to see it on that camera, but I got my runway over here. I'm coming up to the numbers. Now, my approach and my uh, or the gauge of whether my landing is going to be a success starts Five, Mike, Charlie, now. Crosswind approved. Make right close traffic. The setup is just as important as the last few seconds in the landing. Because if you don't set yourself up well and you're squirrely and you're all over the place, then you're not going to have a successful landing. So my setup is just as important as uh, the landing itself. 
Skyhawks in sight. I want around 80 knots with uh, one notch flaps. That's what I've got. Don't want to lose too much altitude because he's, he's extended quite a lot. I'm already at a 45 degree angle, so I know that I'm going further out, so I'm not descending as fast as I normally would. This Skyhawk is so slow. All right, I'm making my turn, turning onto the base. Giving the Skyhawk plenty of room. Descent's still coming down slowly. My usual landmark for uh, Charlie, I'll call your base. making the base call is the just base. the edge of this lake over here. That's my usual gauge as far as where I want to be turning base and I'm way outside of it so I don't want to be des descending as quickly as I normally would. Second notch of flaps. 75 knots is what I'm looking for on a base which is what I've got. Again one of the criteria or one of the things I was looking for was good airspeed control. Skyhawk is uh, just coming over the threshold now, we'll turn final. 75 knots, looking good, it's fairly stable today, or so it seems. I've got two reds, two whites on the pappy. What does that mean? On the glide path. Uh, There's a guy down here that's doing uh, some wakeboarding. He just did a flip and uh, fell off. That's interesting. Focus on the landing dip. Alright, made the runway. Final notch of flaps. On, f on uh, short final, coming over the numbers, I want to be around 65 knots. If I'm coming over the numbers and I look at... Uh, my, uh, my airspeed and it's at 65. I don't have to look at it again. And I said my, uh, I want to be landing my on, the, two, uh, TBM on the thousand foot markers. Right There's my 65. I'm pulling my power back now. Two center line strikes before the uh, thousand foot markers, which allows me to have a, a nice little landing. We made it. All right, flaps up, let's roll. 65. Rotate. Welcome back to the sky. The the whole thing about the two center line stripes before the touchdown point, that is something that I've seen that has worked or that works for me as far as nailing uh, the points that I want to nail. I pull the power off and start kind of like transitioning to, to holding the nose up to the end of the runway. Two center line stripes before where I want to land and that usually allows me to hold the aeroplane up until I can uh, put the wheels down on my point. Alrighty, 1,100 feet, Roger. turning on to downwind. On the landing, I let the nose come down a little bit too quickly. So it kind of, I hit, hit the mains and then let the nose drop uh, immediately. I'm not going to do that on this one. Cherokee 042, number 2, follow Skyhawk ahead and to your right on base, runway 25, clear touch and go. Roger, Skyhawk's in sight, uh, number 2, clear touch and go, 25, 042. Yeah, so coming on, uh, on the base, the wrist, nice perpendicular the runway, second notch flaps, roller trim down. Finals clear, Cessna's still on the runway, I'm still slightly high, airspeed's okay. As I uh, turn on the final, just reducing the power a little bit so I can... Uh, Reduce some of that altitude. Cessna is no longer on the runway. Three whites, one red. Slightly high. Piper 5, hotel, hotel. Traffic uh, short, final runway 25. Two whites, land. two reds. Only 25, clear to land. Five hotel, come. Now we're going to bring the last notch flaps in. The guy wakeboarding below me, that's pretty cool. Now I'm aiming the nose at two center line stripes before the thousand foot markers, which is where I want to land. I felt myself drop. Right. I'm at 65 knots, control, which is exactly where I want to be. Cheyenne 9013 November Charlie. So coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Waiting for two center line stripes. That's three center line stripes. That's two center line stripes. Power's idle. My eyes are to the end of the runway and I'm just holding the nose up. I did a little bit past the, uh, the blocks there. 65. Rotate. Welcome back to the sky. Alright, 1,100 feet leveling off. Cherokee 042, number 3, follow Skyhawk, 12 o'clock, mile and a half, on the downwind in front of you, runway 25, clear touch and go. Roger, number 3, Skyhawk in sight, clear touch and go, 042. We're going to land on the 1,000 uh, foot markers again, a beam, the numbers. TBM 9300, zero, zero, Romeo, Orlando, Executive Tower, 1700, Roger, one notch the, flaps. Uh, Cheyenne in front of you. Slow it down to 80. Holding release as There's 80. Gentlemen for, uh, Roll the, aircraft and a little bit of the trip down. Skyhawk is going past my wing now, I'm going to... Keep this descent coming a little bit quicker so we can shorten up the traffic pattern. 75 knots on a base, coming down, descent rate's coming, 500 feet per minute, 75 knots, looking good. I can feel an imbalance in the uh, the wings, look at that, it wants to dip to that side. There's more fuel on the right it's side than the left. Kilo. Slightly high. 
there we go. We're on glide slope now. I've got my eyes on my aiming point. My nose is on my aiming point. Two centre line stripes before the, uh, the thousand foot markers. Airspeed needs to be decreased. We're at 65 now. We're looking good. There's three. There's two. I was off and I'm holding the nose to the end of the runway so I can float past the f***ing point. That's annoying. Alright, so that's the currency out of the way. Now I'm just going to play around. I'm going to try and put it... What? Where should, where should I put it? On the numbers? I'm going to put it on 2.5. Let's f*** around with this for a little bit. Words that you never want to say to your instructor. Alright, that last one. I floated past my, uh, my point. Which tells me with the witness today, my method of uh, pulling the power off two centre line strikes before the runway isn't enough, I need to do it sooner. Because my airspeed control is fine, my altitude is fine, but it keeps floating, so I need to pull the power off earlier. But anyway, we're going to put it on, uh, on the numbers. Alright, then we fuel pump on. Fuel pressure's fine. Switch tanks. Fuel pressure's okay. Cherokee 042, your number four, verify you have Skyhawk 12 o'clock, one mile in sight. In sight, 042. Cherokee 042, number four, Romeo 25, clear touch and go. Roger, number four, clear touch and go, 042. Perfect, I'm slowing it down, my airspeed's a little bit low, I'm, I'm just keeping it slow because uh, I don't want to go too far from the airport. I am actually spending my own money on this, so I don't want to have to go to Melbourne and then fly all the way back just to, uh, just to do a touch and go. This is one of the reasons that you do a... Uh, you practice slow flight. If you're in the traffic pattern, you need to keep it slow, you know, because you've got a Gulfstream landing, you've got a Cessna over here, and then you've got a Cessna over there, and you're number four for landing. You don't want to be flying all the way out just to fly all the way back in and do a really long 10 mile final. F that. Slow it down. Got my traffic in sight. The only time I'm going to start properly descending, like I've descended a little bit because I wasn't paying attention because I'm a f***ing moron, but I'm only going to descend properly once I'm on final. Alright, so I'm on the glide slope and I'm going to start uh, descending and moving my airspeed to a normal airspeed, which is around 75. What I want with two notches of flaps. Got my Skyhawk in sight and I'm going to try and put it on the numbers. Two whites, two reds, looking good. Uh, Alright, last notch flaps. I'm going to slow down, I need to get my airspeed. Now of course, if I'm on glide slope, that means it's taking me towards the uh, the, the thousand foot markers. That's not what I want, so I'm going to have to be a little bit low on this. Looks really weird. Feels really weird. Alright, so I know I'm too high. I'm on glide slope, but I'm too high. What? Alright, here we go. I'm going to fly it onto the numbers. I'm going to keep it really slow and fly it onto the numbers. Coming towards the grass. There's the grass. My speed is where I want it. I was idle. Two five. Kind of flew it into the ground. Smooth touchdown. Flew it into the ground. Sixty-five. Welcome back to the sky. It's going to be a full stop landing. Soft field technique. And two zero four two. This one's going to be a full stop. Roger. It's getting turbulent. Let's well, wake turbulence from these Cessnas. Aiming for the first third of the runway. Soft touchdown. Pulled the nose up. So I'll be honest with you, my performance today hasn't been the best in my opinion. I think I could have done better, but uh, I've not. This is what this this is the reason that you would, they want you to do passenger currency. Because if you're taking a passenger flying, right, you've got to be on your game because you've got people on board. Yeah, you're taking your, your mom, your dad, your girlfriend. You know, you've got to keep these people safe, so they want you to be proficient. And on the check ride, you're probably going to get asked what's the difference between being current and being proficient. Like, current means that you're legal to go and fly, proficient means you're actually being safe and doing things well. Like just being current doesn't automatically make you safe, you know? It just makes you legal. I didn't like two of them. This one's going to be good. I just cut my nail, moving clear to land, I'm getting my second notch flaps in. Okay, here we go. Soft field technique. I'm high. Last notch flaps. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put it on the blocks. Soft field technique. So remember before I said that I floated past the blocks, so my power reduction point of two centre line stripes before the blocks is not working. So I'm going to do it a little bit before that, so maybe two and a half.
Here we go. Wait a lot. Two and a half. Power's off. Holding my nose towards the end of the runway. A little bit of a balloon. Oh, but look at that. We settle. We settle on the runway. And hold the nose up. Soft field technique. That was the best one of the lot. I'll take it. Get the door open as well because it's boiling. Clean the plane up. Ball ground. Back up, get the hop stops. Stop paying money. Alright, after landing, flaps retract. My opinion of that is okay performance. Even though the landings were smooth and kind of soft, I did the exact same thing that I tell my students not to do, which is to let the nose come down too quickly. I'm making a complete excuse here. I'm going to attribute that down to flying the ATR simulator. With that, you can kind of release the controls after you've touched down on the mains and the nose comes down fairly slowly. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, get yourself subscribed, hit the notification bell so you can uh, be notified for when uh, new videos are posted and all that sort of stuff. Tell your friends, and if you want to get any channel merchandise, ludicsaviation.com.